Hello everyone, this is your coach Geeta Dubey and today we'll be talking about a very important topic uh, which is mastering your interpersonal skills. So I think we all have issues sometimes in our life when we are not able to form a healthy uh, connections with people or a very healthy uh, deep connections with people. So I think today I want to address that topic and it is a very important one because we need to understand how we can really deepen our relationships or connections in such a way that it not only has a great impact on us but other people around us. And this is a skill by the way. So you would uh, find that this can be built upon so you don't have to uh, feel bad about it that why you are not having any good connections in your life so I think there's nothing to worry about so today I'll be talking all about different things and the tips which you can really use and see if you are getting some meaningful relationships or some meaningful connections whether it's your family, friends, or co-workers, or business partners. So um, please be ready, and we'll be talking a lot, many tips as well, which you can just note it down. And before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe my channel um, and press the bell icon where you can get notifications and also like button, which would encourage me to make such videos in the future. All right, let's get started. So what are interpersonal skills? We talk about them, but what are really those? So interpersonal skills are the skills required to effectively communicate, interact, and work with individuals and groups. Those with good interpersonal skills are strong verbal and nonverbal communications are often considered good with people. Whether they are used in your career or personal life, these skills are important for any kind of success. Right? So these are just how you communicate with the people, correct? How you interact with them. And I mean, I don't know whether you know, there are uh, non-verbal communication skills also, which we'll be talking further, because people think uh, it's only the speaking which matters. It's only the language which matters, or it is only the tonal quality which matters. But there is something more to it. Even when you're not talking anything, even when you're not um, communicating with anything, those non-verbal communi uh, communication skills are very, very powerful as well. So here I'm back to my question. Do you struggle to connect with people or with others? And if the answer is yes, so today keep watching. It's going to be so much learning about the interpersonal skills. So interpersonal skills are the key to building meaningful connections. And it's just not about what to say and how to say. So like I said, it's just not about people get confused that, oh, it's only like, if I'm saying something or it's just how I'm saying things, it, it's not that. It's much, much more than that. And we'll be talking all about it today. So why interpersonal skills matter? Why, why do they matter so much? So most of, of what we do in our life requires interaction with other people, right? So we cannot um, live our life without interacting with anybody, right? So in order to be successful in your career or have meaningful friendships, it's critical to be good at getting along with others, right? So we all know that. Whether it's um, a career, whether it's a business, whether it's family, friends, anything. While interpersonal skills are often considered to be something that comes naturally, and that are uh, either blessed with them or the truth is that that can be learned. So a lot of people we say, and like when we see somebody who's very good uh, with the people or people's person, so we say, oh, wow, they're born with it. You know, they, they know how to talk to people. They know how to engage with people with more meaningful conversations. But is that true? So I tell you, it's not. You can build upon. It's a skill, right? We all learn as we go along, whatever we are trying to do in these, in this life. 
So at Gita Dubik Coaching, at our coaching, what we do, our focus is to helping you advance your business, career, or life with the objective in mind that we have designed this guide to help you, correct? Be aware of the importance of interpersonal skills. Please never undermine or never underestimate what interpersonal skills are, how you talk, what you talk, how you present yourself. All those are very, very important. Highlight your skills in a way that helps you to get a business deal, job, networking, anything, studies, anything you do in your life, right, to advance your career. Assess your interpersonal abilities and develop a plan to improve them. Okay, so this is an important one where I really like you to focus on. So even if you feel that you don't have the right interpersonal skills, but I really want you to focus that you can build upon them. It's a skill, right? So anything which is a skill you can learn and you can practice and you can become stronger on it. So difference between a technical skill and an interpersonal skill. This is a very interesting slide. And I really wanted to talk to you all about this because technical skills are we always are based upon intelligence, uh, quotient right and they have a set rules which they need to follow they are learned in school uh, right and easily testable so they give you tests to prove upon like whether how you are doing can be learned of course and heavy focus on careers like what you're really really going to do in your life so the whole focus is on the career like how you're going to be building your career what you're going to be becoming um, and they make you choose by the age of 10 between 10 and 15 they start talking about it like what you really want to become in your life right so these are all intelligence questions where they test your intelligence and where they are you have to follow certain rules and so these are all you have gone through right most of us now what are interpersonal skills so Number one thing, they are not taught in the schools, uh, which is very um, uh, difficult sometimes. Uh, these are emotional question, the question. So what are those? Changing rules. So you can change your rules because this is a skill and everybody has a unique ability how they want to build upon their emotional quotient, right? Learned in life, <laughs> like I said, they are not learned in schools. So how did you test? Of course, you cannot. These are non-tangible ones because... You cannot do any testing. They improve as you go along, can be learned. Absolutely, 100% you can learn them. Equally important, I think one of the most important things in this day and age, uh, and less focus, less focus on career. It's more focus about you and who you are and what you can become and what you could do with your abilities. So what are the five important keys to build a strong interpersonal skills, right? So we talk about those. Number one is active listening. We'll all talk about these in details in coming slides. Number two is empathy. Um, one of my favorite ones. Number three is nonverbal communication. When your body language is equally important when you're not saying anything. Number four is collaborations, uh, which is also very, very important. You collaborate or make teams. That is equally important. And then number fifth is Effective public speaking. So active listening. So active listening is very crucial skill. And it shows the others that you value their thoughts and your opinions. Put your phone down and give them full attention. Now, this is um, the problem of this current times. People don't have much time and they are always on their phone. They're always while talking to you. Have you seen so many people just always on the phone, that even when you are speaking to them or you're talking to them? So it is very important that you put everything down um, because it's good for you also. It's not only about for that person. It's good for you that you are uh, fully focused on that conversation. So because if our minds are at different places, then you know what can all happen, right? So I always tell that develop this skill, you know, because talk to somebody, either start with your family member or anybody, you know, your friend, that you just pay 100% attention to what they are saying. Empathy. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest one these days, right? Empathy is uh, another vital component. Try to understand others' perspectives and validate their emotions. Uh, it creates a sense of trust and understanding. So others' perspectives, okay, so you can say one thing, other person can say differently, correct? But that does not mean that 
other person is not agreeing with you. So you can agree to disagree, correct? We use that always. That's their perspective about that uh, particular topic you're talking about, correct? And also validation of their emotions. So I I usually use a method, which is four ways you can validate someone's feelings, which is a Luar method, which says, listen, number one, we talked about, you have to be completely focused when you're talking to somebody, right? So you're just absolutely focused. Number two is understand. So you must understand what they're trying to tell you, you know? Um, and while they're talking to you in your mind, it should keep going in, okay, what is he saying or what is she saying? Okay, okay. And accept what they are saying. So sometimes the things which are they're trying to say are not in, could be in your favor, but you just have to accept as is that time, right? And number four is the, four is the reflect back, you know, R is for reflect. So you need to reflect back in such a way that it takes uh, care of everything, you know. Uh, it's just not that your reflection should be okay, what you didn't like it, and you just basically talk only about that. So you need to talk about in totality when you're talking to someone. So that's the biggest components of empathy you would like to show. Nonverbal communication, right? So this is what I was telling you. People only think that it's just the... Um, Communication, which is important, but non-verbal communication plays a very important role. Uh, it's a significant role, I would say. Use your open body language. Maintain an eye contact. Contact When you're talking to somebody, just look into their eyes. I know it's very, very hard to practice. But believe me, when you start doing it, it makes such a... Your connections would become so deep, you know. And always while talking to somebody don't try to look away that's another big thing you know because i've seen so many people when they are trying to have a, a healthy conversations with you but you have a tendency to look away look up look down you know do all those things please don't ever do that also use appropriate gestures like you don't have to uh, make them feel their whatever they are telling you or whatever they are trying to put across to you is not interesting at all so it conveys interest and confidence so be careful when you're talking to somebody your whole body language also speaks of its own so you have to be careful especially start with your face start talking to them and look into their eyes and just just be open about it what they're trying to do so I always say have a curious mind when you're talking to somebody or you are you know because that really helps you to develop the habit of being open you know, so you don't feel closed and have a good body posture, like be open about it. So your shoulders should be down when you're talking to them. You are looking in their eyes and that does all the tricks. Collaboration and teamwork, number four, which is our essential in setting. Um, be willing to compromise, actively participate, value diverse opinions, fosters creativity and productivity. It's it's okay um, that other persons, like I said, they, they could have a different opinion or perspective, even when they are fostering a creativity or a productivity. So just, just be willing to compromise. And you feel that even if it's not um, something you like doing, but just for being in the part of the team and you're collaborating at a bigger level. So it's okay, you know, like you can put in your two cents, they can put in their two cents and then you can always collaborate in between and which works out for everybody, right? Number five is effective public speaking. Yes, it's very, very important that you are able to uh, convey what you're saying uh, with a lot of confidence and a lot of uh, valuable skills you're adding to it as well. So practice your speech, use clear and concise language, engage your audience, uh, make them listen to what you're saying. If something is very, very important, have a special emphasis on that. It helps you to convey your ideas more confidently and be confident what you're saying. You, you it's, it's a part of you where either you have experienced or you, let's say I'm a coach if my some of my clients have experienced. So use some of those examples in between so people feel connected to it or they can relate to a story, right? And then the one thing I really wanted to add from my side at this one was be authentic. Even if you make mistakes while doing effective public speaking, don't worry about it. Just be authentic and believe me, that also comes across as a very powerful um 
speech because sometimes we because like I said sometimes we have too much focus on writing a script following a script that's okay you can do all those practices but if you have to come and be natural also you can be that right so sometimes you just practice just being natural and just being open of serving is and adding value in people's lives so these are the five uh, very effective and very efficient tips of interpersonal skills you can build upon. You can pick all of them, start working on them on them today, or you can pick one of them, start building upon it. So anything whichever works for you. All right. So with that, we are um, uh, end of the session, and I hope you enjoyed today's session. Please subscribe and press the like button to my YouTube channel and press bell icon to get more notification. I would be back with some more business growth tips, uh, life coaching, and motivational trip tips. And I hope to see you soon. And you all have a good day. Thank you so much for watching.